fitting for this episode, the last one before the elections. You folks better freaking wake up. And if you're not voting Trump because you don't like him, and you don't vote at all, that means you just voted for that skank of a wench of an evil, evil woman I now call the head of the Sopranos. She is that fucking evil. She is just a fucking mob boss. Whacking everybody in her sight. So when you think about everybody breaking Comey's chops because he probably feels like he's got so much egg on his face because he was pressured by Loretta Lynch. Because Bill and Loretta Lynch speaking for 40 minutes on a plane, next Comey comes out not to prosecute, yet under oath agreed of Hillary's wrongdoings, reopens this case, gets the warrant to review the new information, and now he gets threatened by Lynch not to send that letter that he sent to Congress, by the way, not the public. And then he calls her a bluff, threatening to resign. So I need you to read between the lines here. Comey didn't make this mess to begin with. Hillary did. And he called Loretta Lynch's fucking bluff. The problem is, is Loretta Lynch ran that one branch that's in Manhattan that's right now investigating the Clinton Foundation. And the other office was investigating the Wiener. And the folks at the Wiener investigation were trying to get information connecting dots from the Clinton Foundation. And Loretta Lynch is squashing it. She's trying to hide the agenda. Why do you think that colleague of hers who fed the lines to Hillary to these debates got fired? Because the chips are starting to fucking fall. The truth is coming out. The thing is, is don't be too late to the fucking party and find out all the truth after the election is over. You need to rise and stand up, America. And even if you don't like, and it's only verbiage, and she says a lot fucking worse, so I don't know why it's okay for her to say shit, and he can't, but she does the actions, and he doesn't fucking follow through with actions. She's the piece of shit. He just has a potty mouth. And you have to vote Trump, whether you like that man or not. So visualize this. You've got one person named X, who you sit next to, who's worth $4.5 billion. You still don't have a pot to piss in. And then you sit next to someone who's worth $54 million. Both are freaking pieces of shit the way they talk. They disrespect you in every fucking capacity in the way they talk to you. Which one are you going to listen to, though? The one that's worth $4.5 billion? Or the one that's worth $54 million? $54 million person did it by stealing, cheating, lying, killing, and the $4.5 billion did it by following the laws of the fucking land. Common sense. Fucking common sense. Wake the fuck up, people. Common fucking sense. Think about it. So Hillary gives $1.7 billion to fucking Iran with Obama, who's in on this fucking fix, folks. You saw what he tried to do in fucking North Carolina. He tried to shush, uh, shush us down. And all he can say is, shut up, shut up, shut up. You need to pay attention. You need to focus. What kind of fucking presidential fucking person is that? Please. Trump is way more pr- uh, presidential. When he hears the ruckus and he sees someone fucking making a ruckus, what does he do? He stops talking. He walks away. He lets the people handle it. And Obama stands there like a little fucking baby. Hey, look at me, is what he's doing. But let's get back to that Iran thing. You look at the 300 or so executive orders, which we're going to get to that in a brief synopsis. But one of these executive orders that Obama and the Secretary of State at the time, Hillary, 
number 12205 prohibits the availability of funds to Iran. They fucking put the executive order in, the two of them. And they fucking broke their own executive order. Wake the fuck up, people. It's just straight up lawlessness. Which are getting crushed by killery, helpfoolery. Vote Trump. Now she wants to raise the taxes. She wants to get the rich richer. Think about that. There's a caveat to that, which I'll get to. Trump wants to lower taxes. That equals the country gets richer. Think about it. You go and you tax the rich. I mean, she raises the taxes across the board, so the rich are going to get richer because you all think that all these tax write-offs are just for millionaires and billionaires. These tax write-offs are there for you as well. You just have to speak to an accountant to find out. The problem is, is you don't have the money, maybe, or you haven't found someone who can tell you about the loopholes. Or they do, and you just choose not to be diligent, and you're too lazy to keep your receipts and use things that are business-related as tax write-offs, and you end up skunking yourself. That's your fault. I use the laws, and I use the tax write-offs that are business expenses, and it helps me out. Do I like paying the taxes I do? No. But I tell you this, the rich are going to keep on getting richer as these taxes get raised. But if they lower taxes, like what Trump wants to do, here's what happens. Mommy, Daddy, you get to buy Johnny a new bike. You get to buy Johnny those brand new sneakers that he's been dying to get. You get to buy Mary that beautiful Barbie doll or that nice little dress for her prom because more money went back into your pocket. And when more money goes back into your pocket, that's more money you get to spend on your children. And when you spend more money on your children, that creates a demand. And when you create demand, you create jobs because someone has to create the demand that you want. That's why Trump will create jobs and Hillary will squash you like a bug. She wants to open the borders. He wants to shut them down. Again, I've hammered this home time and time again. Mommy, daddy, brother, sister, colleague, boss, friend. We are the product. People. 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 We are the product. And when you bring in more people, you dilute the product. That means there's more boxes of Cheerios on the shelf. That means the boxes of Cheerios have to go on sale because they'll get stale. They won't be any good. So we bring the price of the Cheerios down so we can move the product which means the higher ups, the richer, get to hire more people for less money, which means your wage does not go up. And if the government doesn't want to nail down the fact that you are a citizen and let illegals work, now you were just born and bred here, you are worthless. You are worthless because the product got diluted. There's not 350 million in this country, there's 600 million in this country with the same, if not less, jobs available. Think about it. The rich get richer and the poor get squashed. The middle class just doesn't exist anymore. Are you listening, people? Are you learning something today? Now, I already mentioned to you that there's information out there that can actually put Hillary in jail. And the New York Police Department is going to put it out there. The chief of police has already said that if they don't, he will make a public 
announcement and let the cat out of the bag. He has even stated that they have got their own copies, that the copies that they gave to the FBI and the DOJ, they have them. So right now, with all the infighting, that's what you're seeing on TV and all the speculation that they're talking about because they don't want to let that cat out of the bag because they're all paid by Hillary. So they're not going to tell you about the child ring and the child molestation and the sex scandals that all exist besides the money laundering. It isn't about the emails. It's about the lax security. Our country is at risk. We will be under fire. We will go into revolution. Even the Queen of England has said, listen, your 200 year experiment of ruling yourself has run its course. Just go ahead and put my name in there. Yeah, can you imagine that England running the fucking America? So you need to ask yourself, with Loretta squashing these both entities, which now has stemmed up to be now four, um, attorney agencies are looking into this whole mess. So I don't know if she's going to be able to, but do you like the fact that if Hillary gets to be elected, that she's going to be the next Secretary of State? Exactly. What you reap is what you sow. This is going to be a big, 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 big nightmare. So I want you to ask yourself some questions. Can we have someone in office that already had government information compromised by five foreign countries. Can we have someone in office who has a count of 150 people personally attached to them that are now dead under questionable circumstances? Can we have someone in office who disrespected the women who were allowed to have sex with her spouse and say she is for women, yet she got off a 41-year-old rapist of a 12-year-old girl and laughed and bragged about it. Can we keep someone in office for four to eight years after the last 30 years having the opportunity to make positive change and has accomplished nothing? Can we have someone in office who gave $1.7 billion to a terrorist nation with money laundered funds, hundreds of millions of dollars for personal gain, who has cost the taxpayers millions of dollars as well. Can we have someone in office who cheated at the debate, paid people to start riots, at the opposing candidate rallies. Can we have someone in office who takes hundreds and millions of dollars from foreign countries that preach terrorism, oppress women, and believe that Sharia law should be in order? So you're okay with your daughters getting stoned to death if some fucking knucklehead Islamic bullshit asshole says that you should have his daughter marry him. Meanwhile, he's got fucking eight wives and she don't want to do it. And you watch your daughter get stoned to death. You okay with that? Can we have someone in office who's okay with that? Can we have someone in office who with a pay-to-play scheme infiltrates not just the USA, but the world, but wants to talk about Trump not being interest in worldly issues, please. That person is Hillary Clinton. You cannot have this piece of shit in the office. So, here's how we're gonna hammer this home. Hillary Clinton wrote a college thesis on how to create a social state by Sol Alinsky. These are the eight steps or levels to achieve control that is to be attained to achieve 
a social state. One.